Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Thursday, March 5th. It's the second week in Lent, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 74, and John chapter 5, verse 19 to 29. And please join me in singing uh, the second verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of St. Columba. Our God is great above all gods, the ruler of creation. In your hands are all the earth and seas for you. God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. O God, why do you cast us off forever? Psalm 74, and please recite it together with me. O God, why do you cast us off forever? Why does your anger blaze so hot against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your people which you purchased long ago, the rod of your inheritance which you have redeemed, this Mount Zion where you have dwelt. Lift your feet to the endless ruins. The enemy has laid waste to your sanctuary. Your enemies roar in the midst of your congregations. They set up their ensigns as signs of victory. They have struck like those with axes in a grove of trees. Now they break down the carved work with axes and hammers. They have set fire to your sanctuary. They have defiled the dwelling of your name. And they said in their hearts, let us destroy them. They have burned up all the places of God in the land. We see no signs. There is no prophet. None among us knows how long it will last. O oh God, how long shall the adversary reproach? Shall the enemy blaspheme your name forever? Why do you withhold your strong hand? Take it out of your bosom, for you are my ruler of old working salvation in the midst of the earth. You divided the sea by your strength, and you broke the heads of the dragons in the waters. You broke the head of Leviathan in pieces, and gave him to be meat to the people inhabiting the wilderness. You split open the fountain and the flood, and you dried up mighty rivers. The day is yours, and the night also. You have established the moon and the sun. You have fixed all the boundaries of the earth. You have made summer and winter. Remember, O oh God, that the enemy has scorned, that foolish people have blasphemed your name. But do not deliver the life of your dove to the wicked, and forget not the congregation of your poor. Remember your covenant, for the caves of the earth are the habitations of cruelty. Do not let the oppressed return ashamed, let the poor and the needy praise your name. Rise, O God, and plead your cause. Remember how the foolish reviled you all the day long. Forget not the voice of your enemies, the tumult of those that rise against you continually increases. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. O oh God, why have you cast us off forever? A lesson from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 5, beginning at verse 19. And Jesus said to them, Truly I tell you, the Son can do nothing on his own, but only what he sees the Father doing. For whatever the Father does, the Son does likewise. The Father loves the Son 
and shows him all that he himself is doing. And he will show him greater works than these, so that you will be astonished. Indeed, just as the Father raises the dead and gives them life, so also the Son gives life to whomever he wishes. The Father judges no one, but has given all judgment to the Son, so that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Anyone who does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Very truly, I tell you, anyone who hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and does not come under judgment, but has passed from death to life. Very truly, I tell you, the hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself. And he has given him authority to execute judgment, because he is the Son of Man. Do not be astonished at this, for the hour is coming when all who are in their graves will hear his voice and will come out, those who have done good to the resurrection of life, and those who have done evil to the resurrection of condemnation. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Please say the response after each verse. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us, and for all of your intentions. Together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Gather us, O God, and save us from the adversary that we may rise and praise you forever. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit.